with battle rap, they got a short, short memory. People seen or forget or act like, yo, you tripping or you, what's the problem? This came out of nowhere. So I just came to clear this up, bro. So me and Mook was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I came in the game looking up the battle rappers like him, Jay Mills. I used to mess with T-Rex. Like, you know, I battled T-Rex on the phone. I was like 13. I just always showed them love, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got I got interviews showing, saying that I fucked with them. So you gotta look up the Mook, like Mook, the J Mills. So me and Mook was cool, right? I came in the game 2009. I probably met him 2010, probably. It might have been times where, you know, on the internet, on, on Twitter or something, some people put me in that category, like, hey man, you the new end game, or you need to battle Mook or nothing. But as far as me and him, we never had no, no back and forth, so. Our last time on camera kicking it and cool was 2019. If y'all remember the Summer Impact, we was all in the same room, we kicking it. 2020, it was the day before he battled Tay Rock, you know what I'm saying? I woke up and I just see him like, yo. Like when Hitman said, I reload with the bullets that came out of him, I was listening and I said, no, because that didn't make sense. He shouldn't have never said that bar. And Mook the type of person that'll discredit you and then try to downplay how he discredit you. Mind you, me had no, never had no back and forth, never had no misunderstanding. That was the first time he ever just flat out came out and dissed me on camera. You know what I'm saying? At the time, he in a video with Matt Hoffa, I, I wasn't cool with Matt Hoffa back then. You dissing me on the blog with Matt. All right, cool. He dissed me. Next day, he battled Tay Rock. He had a good showing. I put, I'm sick of Moot. Bring him to me. That's all I said. He keep trying to make it seem like, what did I do? Like. Are you sick of me? After it was after Tay Rock, I think he was like, "Yo, I'm sick of this nigga." I'm. He tweeted, "I'm sick of this nigga." I'm sick of this nigga. I'm sick of a nigga. Yo, I'm sick of you. Yo, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this nigga. Being sick of me, bro. Say so much to me, bro. Come on, bro. That's what I mean by niggas who throw bricks high their hands. You diss me out the blue for no reason. I say I'm sick of you. I want to battle, and you try to make it seem like, oh my god, like. I'm lost, I'm confused, like, you hate me, you sick of me, what I do? That's what make me mad about Moot. If you gonna say something, stand on it. So with him starting it, I shot back, then he get on interviews and act like he don't know what's going on. All right, so let's let's get into that uh, parking lot freestyle. I mean, he walked up and he challenged you to a freestyle, you freestyled and he ain't do nothing back, so. Again, this is the type of person Mook is, Mook was out there, you know, I'm from the era, we just rap, nigga, 20 raps, like, on the spot. I happened to walk up, see see what the fuss was about. Y'all know me, I'm a competitor. We can do that. I can just, we can do regular raps. Let's do regular raps. Let's do regular raps. I rapped. On the spot, like he said, niggas wasn't going to do. Hey, hey what's we free? just talking about this? Hey, trolling on the internet? Uh-huh. Go. Me versus Weber. I'm a heavy favorite in Vegas. Uh-huh. Check my background. Mook, I could have played for the Lakers. Right. Football, too. I should be running rocks for the Raiders. Uh-huh. I didn't let you win with them lasers. Uh-huh. For the cops, fuck the ops, because they do more than just tasers. Uh -huh. My hometown, Mike Brown. Uh -huh. They try to betray us. Uh-huh. Break us up, divide father, so it's no one to raise us. Uh -huh. So I see how they play us, uh -huh. so I know how to fake us. A uh -huh. general, I run the floor. Like Anthony Davis. Uh, like background. Two tone drip to even bust downs. Uh, I kind of fight your arms when loaded. Can flip a bus around. Them hoes, one liking my picks. They on my nuts now. We uh, just know we gonna leak up soon. They in a rush now. What's up, Mook? Saw he started it. Mook no, he started like, with me. He, uh, uh, he walked away. He walked away. But the type of person that Mook is, he did that. And then just got on an interview recently and say, they say, yo, Hitman rap. Why you ain't rap, Mook? You remember Hitman walked up, you telling Chester to freestyle. No, remember Hitman I had said, that I told niggas to do something and they did it. That's what I remember. I just went in somebody to rap. I just went, well, you know, he went off. But oh, a nigga oh. can't make me go rap. Because oh, a nigga can't make me rap. I made him rap. That's like me walking into a room, like I bet a nigga in here won't swing on me. Then a nigga swing on me and I say, oh, I made him swing on me. <laughs> You do girl, female shit. You want to call niggas girls and females, but time after time, you get caught doing female shit. You leaked the brotherhood shit. If y'all remember that situation, guess who leaked it? He and not taking pictures of niggas' convos and, and shit and sending it out and just doing female shit. He, time and time and time again, he do shit like that. Like with the Drake shit. Then he record Drake and 
Then they ran Drake out the culture for doing that polling shit. Every time I battle, he he always have something to say. Every person I battle. When he battle, I don't even be like, I don't care, bro. I don't be speaking. That's another lie. All right, let me break it down. Every battle I got, just punch up Mook blogs about Hitman. And I bet you he, he's talking about my battle. Now tell me how long it's going to take y'all to find me blogging about his battle. I don't blog about none of these battle rappers battles at all. I don't even do predictions unless one of my niggas on the card. Every time I battle, Mook dick eating the nigga I'm finna battle. Like he got promo, I'm finna battle Cassidy. Mook got promo blogs and talking bad about me all the way up into the Cassidy battle. Who else I battle? Easy. He wasn't even cool with Easy. Ill Will blog, he blogging about me. First of all, Ill Will is immaculate to me. I, I, I right? fuck with Ill Will. But it, me too. But right, no. why are we happy that Hitman yeah. did good though? After this battle, I might tweet something like this. Here go this trash again. I smoke this. Like, that's the most I do. But it'd be a response. He got, go punch up Murder Moot blogs on Hitman and see how many, I got one blog about him. And that's when hip hop was asking me and never responded. Like, what's going on with your Moot? Like, but, but what's the tension? Like, like, it, it ain't like. Is it friendly it, it's competition? Like, what? Yeah, it's, it ain't nothing like no, no beef or shit. It was cool. Even back then, you would hear me saying, like, it ain't no beef or nothing. But he decided to diss me one day. And now it's on. But if you notice, every nigga that I got a problem with in battle rap at the time, be cool with Mook. Like, me and Cassidy got into it. Mook was over there all chilly. Me and Calico. M murder Mook all with Kyle in the cars, blog, chilly. Like, Reed Dollar, the nigga Reed Dollar, I be letting him slide once again. He cool with Mook. And all of a sudden, I look up, Reed, I don't never think Hitman was nice. I never liked him. All in this, I've never said that about Reed. When I watch your battles, I'll be like, yo, bro fire. But he battling cornball niggas. Like, <laughs> I think he killed Hitman. <laughs> but I don't think Hitman is like everybody piping to be. Damn. I'm leaning towards Calico. A lot of these battle rappers, niggas be pussy. Be yourself. A lot of these niggas be... Nigga, you, the only way your niggas is talking to real gangsters like that is battle rap. Mm. On stage talking all these gun bars. Like, I'm not a hitman fan. Kind of like Bow Wow is. Shout out to Bow because I'm cool with him, so I don't want to diss Bow to even react to that. But I don't know what you mean by that. You can't find me a blog where I'm dissing Reed Dollars. But every time I look up, he got some slick shit to say. Like, nigga, I could have easily got on this motherfucking camera and told the world how you ran off with... A couple hundred dollars from ARP, bro. Didn't you run off with a deposit? I could have easily got in front of running these cameras like, yo, don't you live in a trailer? Don't you live in a car? I've never said nothing about you. Why every time I look up, you got some slick shit to say, but this go back to any nigga that was cool with Mook, always feel like they can say something to me or whatever. Like, bro, read dollar, bro. Watch your motherfucking mouth, bro. Cause I don't know who done told you what, but I'm really one of them niggas that'll come see that action in person. Like, what you mean, bro? Like, it was always just battle rap with me. You know what I'm saying? But I look at a blog and Mook could do shit like this. Like him and Cardan was in, was talking about me and Easy. He blogging about one of my battles again. And him and Cardan talking. They talking so kind of crazy about me. Cardan had to say, well, you know, I'm cool with Nelly and them, so I don't want him man to take this no way. Because it was sounding so crazy. Cardan looks to the camera and says, So I don't want, I don't want him man to take this the wrong way, but he, this is my opinion. I just want to... I just want to... I just want to... I just wanna... <laughs> Murder Mook in the background. Man, I don't give a fuck how you take it. It's that energy. Like, bro, why are you so tough with me? You know what I'm saying? His last blog he got with, with Cole and them, Bill Collector pop up on the joint. You know, they all arguing back and forth for who, who won me and Bill. The nigga Murder Mook say, yeah, I know, I'm Bill, no, I'm just mad at him because he ain't get no get back. In real life, like, niggas get sucker punched. Now, I'm mad at Bill because something has to happen back. Hey, bro, that ain't got shit to do with battle rap. It ain't got shit to do with you. Bill Collector ain't your mans. It ain't nothing. What the fuck is you talking about get back for? Especially when you the type of nigga that ain't got get back for yourself. He's supposed to handle it how you handled it. A nigga did something to you and you sat down on his podcast. You got all the get back answers. You ain't getting back yourself. Shit, a nigga ain't never did nothing to me and ain't nothing happened back, boy. So it's a lot of shit behind the scenes that Mook was saying, and then he do little weird shit like we was supposed to battle ARP League, RBE. I would take a Hitman battle, like what's, why wouldn't I? Been through weeks of negotiating, finally get all the paperwork right. I get my contract, he get his contract. You know what I'm saying? He over there hanging around Cassidy. Nigga wasted all of our time. He got the contract, do all that just to send it back. But you know, niggas in the house and everybody was just telling like, yeah, yo Cass, like yo, 
you know, don't don't even battle her because it's going to look like he, you know what I'm saying, beat me or did good and got you. I fall like, that's why I said I stopped respecting Mook as a man. If another man had to tell you, like, you shouldn't do that, and then you end up not doing because it don't make sense because you know I just battled Cassie before we was negotiating. You knew I just battled Cassie before you got your contract, before you told ALP. And if y'all don't know the business, people don't send contracts until everything is lined up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna send a contract and it's your first time reading and you be like, oh, no, this ain't, I don't want this. And that ain't how that work. You negotiate on the phone with your lawyer, your manager, whoever you got no negotiating for you. You negotiate for however long it take. When y'all come to a common ground, that's when you say, okay, boom, 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 boom. Bet, all right. Put this on paper. Boom, 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 boom. Send it to you. You look, make sure everything's there. Boom, 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 boom. All right, we done. So he did all that before he went to Cassidy um, Mansion, whatever they was doing. So he did all that, got his paperwork, and said, all right, I'm gonna I'm I'm handle that when I get back, whatever he said. Left, and then like, you know what? Never mind, yeah, I'm gonna chill. He, that's that's as a man. Like I ain't, I still ain't get on camera, and you know you. I still, I just in my head, mental note. Are oh, you one of those? I don't respect you as a man. He's scared to death to battle me on a big stage because we all know he don't even have a big stage performance. He just did okay versus twerk in the big stage, but usually and that was in New York. That's why he trying to paint the narrative already or oh, hitman need people how about me and you go in the room just me and you and see what the fuck is you talking about bro it's like me walking up to steph curry man you bum play me one-on-one -on -one. can't shoot threes though mike tyson fight me no power hook though like what you i'm not scared of nothing you do good i'm not trying to i want you at your best what are you trying to oh you need people that's what battle rap is we rap in front of people like what are you talking about his best showing ever was in a room with nobody. Let me and you, like how, how me and Rock did, <laughs> battle me and that right there and just let it come out and, let, and see what happened to you. Murder Mook really jealous of me because he couldn't take battle rap where I took it. You understand, he was the DVD era. He was the man, he sold some DVDs. My era was big stage. Mook didn't take it to big stage because the first main event was Matt Hoffa and T-Rex. And that was in a room full of probably 100 people, 200 people. So if they was already big stage, smacking them would have started at Webster Hall. We didn't. We started in the basement. You know how? Because I battled in the basement. We get to the basement. Then we go to Webster Hall. Mook say, oh, you, you open up. Summer Man is one. You battle first. They let him get on these cameras and lie. They, ain't nobody correct him. You battle first. I couldn't pay smack $50,000 to battle first. Imagine me battling first on anything. Me and Hollow the Down was the fucking headline. I battled at 2 in the morning. I brought big stage to battle rap. Murder Mook didn't bring nothing. He didn't bring schemes to battle rap. Chilling them did that. He ain't bring performance. I brought that. He ain't bring punches. Conceited and beat Magic them brought that. He, he didn't take it worldwide. Arsenal Passport stamped. I got a London Classic with a million. Where's Mook? Like, what, what have Mook done from battle rap? Mook have, have, haven't elevated the new era of battle rap at all. I took it on TV, still with the ARs and with the, and, you know, I'm still battle rapping on TV. I did that. You know what I'm saying? Clips and conceited. We on TV battle rapping. Mook, you're not on TV battle rapping. Mook, you're not overseas and out the country battle rapping. You weren't the first to headline big events in, in New York. You not. So when he look at me, he he, he kind of see like he took it somewhere that I couldn't. So that's why he always try to belittle me when he talked to me. Oh, you're you going to always be this to me. It's not. The numbers prove it. He want to feel like he the biggest battle rapper and the most famous. But you can't do that with me. You can't do that with me. You can't do that with me. Yeah, you did it first. Yeah, I came up because you was doing it first. Yeah, I saluted you. You gotta stand. Man, Mook was cool until I started making money. His go-to was, ah, oh, yeah, you got some reviews, but who, who, who get the money? So when I started getting six figures, that's when the tension came. We was cool from 2010 to 2019. He woke up and dissed me one day 
in 2020 before Tay Rock, and that's when the friction started. This this how I, I read jealousy. They told him, yo, you know Hitman got 450 over there RBE. Instead he's saying, oh, for sure, I want him to get that. Like, he go on there and just make up a lie. He go on there and say, show him the battle deal. He what showed 450. He showed 450. What and up? show and look, show, but you you gotta show the amount of battles you gotta do too. You gotta show the the, the what battle deal? Like, why would you say that? Knowing you don't even know what the fuck you talking about. That's a complete lie. Like, this me telling, like, everybody know ARP. I don't, I haven't signed a battle deal. So for you to just go up there and just make up some in your head to downplay that, just let me know you jealous. Because that was me. And they say, yo, you know Mook just got 450. Be like, man, good shit. Four, 450 for three battles. I wouldn't take that. Mook, you did a three battle deal was smacking them and you didn't get 450. You forgot you the one with the battle deal? You forgot you had to keep doing two on twos and all that shit to make up for the third battle, all that shit, bro? You forgot? Like they told him, man, Hitman gave away 250 to the rookies. I did. Talk about who, who money was it? 25, 250, he said he gave that away to some rookies. I'm See, I'm not one of them people that do that, man. Like, you know, man. he'd be dumb if he gave it away. So you just doing business to not get paid? You ain't give shit away. You're not giving you, you paying so you can get a return on something. That's all. You just invested. You're not giving shit away. Like, don't make it seem like, yeah, I just did this for the, no, nigga, you want to get paid. Like, that's some jealous shit to say, bro. Like, that like saying LeBron got a school, so he he, he got it. That's a tax write-off. What the fuck does that matter? Okay, you getting all this money, right? What have you done for battle rap? What league have you started? What pockets of rookies have you filled? Forget the 28 battle rappers out of gave a platform to and put money in pocket. Forget that. You just automatically jumped to, yeah, that's a tax write off. Forgot he had a podcast. Verb got on about it. You're not one of us. Who you bring up there? Not one of us. You ain't, what have you done for battle rap? You have yet to move the culture forward. Nothing you did from URL 2010 to now move the culture. Lux moved the culture forward. This Calico shit moved the culture forward. I can't knock that from Lux. I can't take, I, one thing they know I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in front of this camera, I won't lie. He moved the culture forward with that. I look crazy standing here trying to downplay what Lux did for the culture. Moot did something for the DVDs, probably. Like back then when he won, I, I don't know, y'all saw you and Smack sold DVD, probably. But you came and had the worst battle of Summer Madness too. You and Reed got the worst main event probably of all time. You got the worst two on two. Tell the world how ARP lost money booking you last. Like, the, the streams is an all-time low. Views moving slow for you to be murder moot. Room half empty. Like, you did an ABC scheme, bro, in 2024. Like I'm the alphabet. I'm always first one nigga say, hey, it's always to be second to be next to me. Let it be or be next to C to D E. I'm an F and G. I wave like H I J K. I ain't joking with this AK. Like you always trying to make it seem like, yeah, my, my number don't change. Your number do change, bro. Do you not know I know a league owner? <laughs> like you lying to be try yourself, always try to belittle a nigga and you be up here capping. We could go to the radio station, me and you, and, and just rap. Go to an empty room. Go to a radio station. Just bow out me and you. Don't nobody that like you got all these stipulations because you scared to death. Every five years, I got a classic. Like 2010, they got the Arsenal. 2012 is John John and Verb. 2014, I got Surf. 2016, 17, 18, I got Suge and K Shine and shit. 2019, I got Bill Collector. 2021, me and Cassie shut down the world. Then I doubled back and got Calico with a classic over there. Know what I'm saying? Ease, I got the best battle of 2024. Every time, every few years, I'm gonna give you what I give you. You can't say the same with him. And he know that. Hit me holler, are you crazy? You let somebody shake and rust off and a battle beat you. Can you imagine how bad I beat you? I better beat you. Cake mix better beat you. I'm sure to get a paw bear, 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 paw. Bring the paw bear, then I know a nigga named Paul. He like a bear, paw bear. Like, what the fuck is that, bro? No!